Hey guys, since you guys like what a million dollars gets you in every single borough in New York City, I'm gonna show you what 1.5 gets you in every single borough in New York City. We're gonna start at my listing at 415 East 37th Street, which is this building here. This is the Horizon building. It was built in 1989. It's 44 stories and has over 400 apartments, 443 apartments to be exact. And when you think of Manhattan living, this is what people think about. Caveat to this video before we start looking at the property, some of these properties are gonna be slightly above or slightly below the 1.5. Some of the listings are not mine. So I have to coordinate with other agents. And it's surprisingly in 2024, some agents don't want me to film their place. Obviously, I love to show you guys what properties get you in a certain price point. So I love to give you guys property tours. So let's check it out. By the way, if you stay till the end of the property tour for this apartment, there's a sick amount of amenities. We're gonna head up to 21J. All right, guys, welcome to 21J at 415 East 37th Street. We just listed this, over a thousand square feet, two bed, two bath. I'm gonna bring it straight to the money shot. Usually I wait for that last, but check out this view. Unobstructed, this seller has been here for quite some time, but when she, she did a few additions, like, she added this nice French door, which actually lets light in. So this is the second bedroom. It could be set up as a home office. It has a nice closet here. Nice big closet, actually. This is a view apartment because you get the UN there, which is north. Then here you face west. So you're going to get some afternoon light on this side. Since this building was built in 1989, it's not like the cookie cutter apartments that are built. Like this, look how big this living space is. This is one of the additions she made. She actually opened opened up this kitchen. If you're cooking and entertaining, or if you're just here by yourself and you're drinking your morning coffee, you have the view here. This is the second bathroom, check that out. But this is the second addition, which is really big for this building. This is the washer dryer. Most apartments on this line don't have the washer dryer. And then this is the primary suite. It's really big. This is a big walk-in closet. Obviously she still lives here, so it's not staged. This is the second bathroom. And this is the bedroom. Like this is a proper king size bed. Like this big big furniture here, really big space. You can't really buy this anymore. Cause like the new construction, they just got to get smaller every single year. And another thing, when you're buying a resale, you save on closing costs. All right, we're gonna show you the amenities now. Let's check out the view from this lounge. This is sick. They have this bar area. You can rent this out actually. Check out that view. Actually, the sauna. Guys, there's so many amenities here. You got a pool room. This is a yoga room. This is the actual gym. It's a, it's a nice gym, too. This is some of the equipment you see at Equinox, too. All right, guys, so here's the payment for 415 East 37th Street for 21J. First, at 20%, you're gonna put down around $320,000. Your closing cost is gonna be around $54,000. So your total out-of-pocket cost is gonna be around $384,000. Property taxes for this apartment is $1,665, so $1,665. Homeowner's insurance is gonna be around $253. Your common charges, also known as HOAs, is around $1,500. So that's how we got the monthly payment. Your monthly payment is going to be close to $11,000 on a 30-year fixed rate. That's a, actually, the interest rates are slightly below 6%, which is crazy. It's great. So that's going to be the highest monthly payment. But if you do like a 7, 6 arm, it could go down as low as $10,779. And if you do a 10-year arm, it could be $10,678. So there you go. All right, guys, I'm excited to show you our listing. Two bedroom, floor through apartment 7A at the destination located at 1435 Broadway. This apartment is brand new, it's a brand new condo. It's a two bed, two bath, plus you have two outdoor spaces. It's approximately 1200 square feet. And what I love about this, 
Besides that it's brand new, like look at how big this terrace is. You do get a glimpse of Manhattan. I love the flow of this apartment. So they have this nick for dining. You could even flex this into a third bedroom if you don't want to keep it as dining. Then you have this nice island, bird is only appliances, it vents out, all of this is storage. This is your pantry here. This is the sitting space. The unique thing about this, yes, is apartment living, it's condo living. We have no neighbors. So this is your private garbage room. Everything is private here. These are two closets. This is the private elevator. So the elevator opens up. This is another closet. This is a staircase. This is the second bathroom. This you can set up as an office nook. So we actually have that placed on the floor plan. This will be your laundry closet. So we still have to install the washer dryer. And check this out. This is what I really like. So this is the second bedroom. We set it up as a kid's bedroom. But like, check this out. This is your private terrace. Don't mind the ringing. The guys are doing work upstairs. We have north views on this side, so you get double exposure in this residence. The other side of the apartment is south exposure. We're actually gonna have parking down there only for the two beds. Look how close, so you have your second entrance to the terrace. This is the primary bedroom suite. This we're gonna set up as a dressing room, so we still have to build out the closets. And then this is your ensuite bathroom. All right guys, so this is a new development. So technically for new development, you have to pay most of the closing costs. Again, when you work with an experienced broker like me, I can negotiate that for you. This is just the closing cost. It's approximately $81,000. Your down payment for this 1.5 apartment is gonna be 300,000. So out of pocket, $380,000. And then your monthly payment, so if you do a 30 year fixed rate, Wells Fargo quoted me $9,000. That includes everything, the common charges, the property taxes, the homeowner's insurance. The monthly payment could also go lower. If you do a, a jumbo arm, which is an adjustable rate mortgage, it could go down to $8,800. So those are two options and we'll link our contact uh, from Wells Fargo. That way, if you have any more questions, you can reach out. Guys, it always feels good to be in my old hood. We're in Bed-Stuy. We're gonna check out Unit 2 since it's staged. All of the apartments here, with the exception of the garden level, are three bed, two bath. This is a floor through three bed, two bath. Daniel Cohen and Tony Bush from Corcoran, special shout out to them. This is considered the third bedroom. You could basically slide this in. You could keep it open, leave it as an office, or you can close it off. So this is the stove, which is Bosch. Five burners here. This is your double oven Bosch. This is marble countertop. This is your fridge. But this developer went above and beyond. Instead of having the buyers just buy their own table, they built out a marble structure, which created a bench and you could sit down. This is such a good use of space. Ceiling height is about 10 feet. You have surround sound speakers. This is sitting space, obviously. That's your view. They went with the track lighting. Kitchen does vent out. That's a sick vent, by the way. This will be your laundry closet. This closet is your water heater tank. This is the second bath here. This green, this is like a turquoise kind of green. This is in style. We have the brass fixtures. Love the tile work. And this nook is good for you because you can put like soaps and things like that. This is technically the second bedroom. Has the closet. In my opinion, it's not the largest bedroom, but it does get the job done because you could fit a queen size bed, dresser. But what I like about this, you have this private terrace. And these developers are getting a lot smarter because they're starting to enclose these terraces. That way you could use them basically all year round. That's usually the downside with having outdoor space. I mean, in New York, we have four seasons. You probably could use it 70% of the time. Now I'm gonna show you the primary bedroom. Catch me on this other side because I just want to show you guys something. The second bedroom, the primary bedroom, they shared the terrace. Look at that light. These are like cool features that the developer did. This is a Mitsubishi. It's actually a split system. Those things are really strong, so it's comparable to central air, but it saves you a lot more energy. And this is a king size bed. Anytime in a bedroom where you can fit a king size bed, the dresser, and a sitting, for New York City standards, that's a big bedroom. Look at this marble. This is one piece. This is expensive. They went with nice towels. Check out the shower. And look at the brass. Love that. 
I'm gonna read the stats to you now, right? I always read the stats off a Compass app. When I mean by stats, I mean by monthly payment. This is what it's gonna cost you. I'm gonna drop the numbers to you below, like the full numbers, but this property is worth is 1.5, right? So with 20% down, you're gonna need a down payment of $300,000. For new development, I'm gonna drop the exact numbers, but right now I'm gonna give you a guesstimation. You're gonna need an additional five to 6% for closing costs. Some of the closing costs could be negotiated. That's why you need a good broker like me to negotiate that for you. Your property taxes are gonna be $1,200 per month. That could be lowered by the NY Star program. One caveat about new development, the property taxes listed are usually the estimated taxes. You do not know what the actual taxes are gonna be until the first unit is closed because that's when you get the tax lots. And that's a whole nother video. The common charges, since this is a small building, is $466, so $1,667. That was your monthlies for property taxes and common charges. And then your monthly mortgage is $8,100. So your total out-of-pocket course with 20% down is just under $10,000, $9,853. And that's at a 7.25 interest rate. Today, I've seen interest rates around 5.8. <laughs> at a 5.8 interest rate, all in monthly payment, again, without property insurance, it's $8,700. So actually, it was gonna save you $1,200. That's why the interest rates being lowered are such a big thing. So in my opinion, that's a good deal because rents in this neighborhood for a two bedroom are like 5K. Three bedrooms, 7K. So it makes more sense to purchase if you have the money than rent in this neighborhood. There's nothing like being on a tree line street block in Brooklyn. Foliage is out in the summertime. I love it. it gives me nostalgia. We finally made it 35 Pole Street in Staten Island, South Shore. This house is slightly above 1.5, 1649. It's really big actually. 4,500 square feet, five bedrooms, three baths, one bath, two car garage, huge backyard. We're on the first level, really big sitting room. I love this entryway here. Oh, look at that staircase. Back here you have the dining area, which leads out to the backyard. And there's also a deck too, which is really nice. We're gonna take you guys out there in a second. We have the kitchen here, original. The sellers have been here since 1989. And this is the dining area, like, this is, there's a nice flow. There's a, there's a lot of potential in this house. The updated houses on the street actually go for a lot more. You also have central air throughout the house. Down here, you do have a bathroom and you have a laundry room. And this leads out to the backyard. This in Manhattan is like our bedroom. So this is why people move to Staten Island. It's just, you just get a lot more space. Then you have closets here. This is a big amenity in Staten Island. Obviously you need to drive. If you work, you're probably gonna work in New Jersey or work from home. So you gotta drive. So this is a nice Nice big two-car garage. When I'm doing these tours, uh, I feel like I'm doing like an MT MTV Cribs episode. <laughs> this is the proper living room. There's just a lot of space. I wouldn't even know what to do with all this space. And this is the deck. Look how big. So you have a nice big deck here. This alone is a probably 100 square feet. But look, just show how much backyard space you have. Lot size is 109 by 95. Like that's. That's huge. When we get into this ballpark, I'm not even used to this type of space. I like this, the shingles here is a nice, it's actually a really nice color. And this house has a really nice curb appeal. All right guys, let's see the rest of the house. So up here, you have four bedrooms. One bedroom here, one bedroom behind you. So many bedrooms, it's like, which bedroom I wanna be in? First is set up as an office. I mean, really spacious. And then you have this cool ceiling height. I want to say this is about 13 feet. And then you have closets back here. Then this is the second out of the four bedrooms. So again, you have five bedrooms in the entire house. And just show the view really quickly. These bedrooms are really big too. I mean, this could fit king size bed plus. Nice walk-in closet too. So this is another bedroom. These bedrooms are massive. They're all about 14 by 15. This is the bathroom up here. So it's basically a Jack and Joe setup primary bedroom is massive. It's 25 by 14. It's like about 300 square feet. Like this is like an apartment in Manhattan. And then you have a gigantic closet and then the ensuite bath. The ensuite bath has tub, separate shower. You kept it in really great condition for being here for so long. This is the basement now. It's like a whole nother world. I can't imagine you could do a lot down here. Play some pool, set up a gym. This is a lot of space. You could definitely do football Sundays down here. There's a bathroom down here. It's a full bathroom bathroom too and then you have this you could do bedroom office <laughs> this is why i moved to staten island right you can't get this space 
obviously that house needs updating I'm not sure what an updated house like that would be worth but i would imagine it probably be worth a million dollars more so in my opinion that was a good deal let me know in the comments if you think it's it's a good deal or, or not but let's go over just like quick finances though so that one's listed at 1649 so it's 150 thousand dollars more so if you put 20 percent down you're gonna need at least 330 thousand dollars to put down at 1649 with a 7.25 percent interest rate and a monthly property taxes of 1215 dollars your monthly payment is going to be ten thousand two hundred fourteen dollars that does not include property insurance however if you use an interest rate of like let's just call it six percent flat your payment actually goes down to nine thousand one hundred twenty four dollars and if you happen to negotiate this to 1.5 your payment actually goes down to eighty four hundred dollars and you put down like at least thirty thousand dollars less so three hundred thousand dollars this is our last stop. We're going to the Bronx. We're gonna show you guys where 1.5 gets from the Bronx. So we're here at 3650 Bronxwood Avenue in the Williamsburg section in the Bronx. Shout out to Loretta and Saolo. Love them, collaborate with our ego, my fellow Compass agents, they kill it in the Bronx. So we're gonna show this property. This is a three family brand new construction. The asking price is 1.5. This property was built from the ground up. The seller of this property, he's like an investor slash developer. He boarded this up because he doesn't live here, right? So he makes sure no one enters or tries to squat so to the left here there's gonna be parking so I'm just gonna show you guys in here whoever purchases the property it's not gonna look like this he's not gonna leave the green fence so this is gonna be parking there's gonna be three parking spots here is actually the entrance so once you bypass this you actually go into the elevator we, we're not gonna take the elevator every floor the elevator actually opens up into the apartment so let me show you the apartments we're gonna have to go the hard way and take the stairs. Good thing I ran 14 miles this morning, so my leg got a little warmed up. And the cool thing about this, the property taxes are listed at a dollar, so that's interesting. All right, guys, so this is unit one. So the first and second floor are set up as three bed, two bath. So as you can see, this is the elevator. This is the water heater tank. This is the first out of the three bedrooms. This is gonna be washer dryer. That's the second bathroom. This is the second bedroom. This would be the primary bedroom. So you can rent this out for around 3,700 on the low end. And if you include a parking around 4,000. So this is the second unit. Again, same layout, three bedroom, two bath. You do have the control here for the AC and heating. They built in central air, that's cool. If you rented these out, 37, 37, that would be what? $7,400 of rental income around. You could live in one of them and just rent out the bottom. That might be the play, in my opinion. All right, guys, so this is where it changes. Now, up here, this is a nice one bedroom. So you have the private elevator right here. That's really luxury. You don't see that in the Bronx. Bathroom there. You do have washer dryer. And then you get this nice terrace. And if you're an investor, I would say this one is probably will probably rent for around 2K. I think that's a low number. So let's do the math real quick. Someone's gonna take the parking. So let's say 4K, 4K, and 2200 for this one. So that's a rent roll of 10,200 times 12. That's $122,000 of rental income per year. All right, so if you purchase this with 20% down, you total total out-of-pocket cost with a 7.25% interest rate is $8,186 per month. So you would profit like around $2,000 per month. I didn't include property insurance, but interest rates are much lower. The day I'm taking this video, they're around 6%. You'll probably be all in around that number regardless. But you could also take the one bedroom and then rent out the three beds and basically your mortgage would be almost covered. What do you guys think? All right, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which listing you would pick. Let me know in the future what other price points I should cover. So far, we're working on $500,000 in New York City, the cheapest listing in every borough and the most expensive on it in every borough. Those two videos has been taking us forever to put together. So let us know in the meantime what price points we should cover. Thank you so much. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video. See you guys soon.